do here? What do you guys say? Dip out. But like I said, he was, he was back there with the boys, shaking hands. Oh, okay. I asked him, I said, Sir, what's the secret to um, staying in the bigs I mean, once you get there? He said, Working hard. <laughs> he got that on tape. <laughs> he said, Working hard. You know, he's got that heavy accent. <laughs>
1876. As the city was rapidly rebuilding from its own ashes, Chicago drew inspiration from a fiercely talented group of 11 ball players to lift its pride and its spirit. That club was granted a charter franchise with the newly formed National League of Professional Teams. Thus began an incredible 137 year connection between Chicago and its beloved Cubs. This bond is rooted in pride, passion, and above all, loyalty. Cubs fans are deeply connected to their team. They fervently understand that Cubs history matters, that treasured Cubs traditions must be passed from generation to generation, that being a Cubs fan makes you part of an allegiant baseball community, that being a Cubs fan truly matters. No one has been more keenly aware of the honor and responsibility of Cubs traditions than the eight owners of the club. It began with Hall of Fame owners William Hulbert and Albert G. Spalding, and a formidable team that won six National League championship pennants from 1876 to 1886. To Charles Wiedemann, the man who built Wrigley Field in 1914. To the Wrigley family, who owned the Cubs for 60 years and assembled one of baseball's strongest franchises with four World Series appearances in 10 years. Followed by the Tribune Company, which rebuilt the Cubs starting in 1981, leading Wrigley Field's transition to night baseball while drawing three million fans for the first time in 2004. For nearly 100 years, there has been one constant for Cubs owners, the respect for Wrigley Field. Wrigley's charm extends beyond the diamond, from memorable concerts to football, hockey, soccer, and even ski jumping. And in nearly a century, no one can deny the majesty of beautiful Wrigley Field. understood the enormous honor and responsibility of overseeing the city's beloved franchise and its cherished ballpark more than the Ricketts family. Well, after three long years, we're very excited to say today the Ricketts family is the owner of the Chicago Cubs. On the very first day that we owned the team, we set out three priorities. Number one, first and foremost, is to win the World Series. The second was to preserve and improve the field, and the third was to be a better neighbor and be more active in our community. The Ricketts have invested in talent and recruited new baseball leadership to create and execute a plan for sustained success that's fueled by highly motivated people who share a passion and a desire to win. The most important thing that I can do for the Chicago Cubs is to hire the right people. Uh, I think that we've done a great job on the business side, and I think last year we did a great job on the baseball side. And now we support those guys, let them go forward, let them do their jobs, and we'll be in good shape. They're investing in new state-of-the-art training facilities. A baseball academy in the Dominican Republic is currently under construction and an incredible year-round Cubs training facility in Mesa, Arizona is progressing rapidly. If you have the best facilities at your spring training location, you're going to get players spending more time there in the offseason, staying in better shape, and also getting a closer relationship with the team and kind of getting everybody on board and pointed in one direction towards winning. And you know, take that over to the Dominican Republic where there's a lot of teams that are competing for the same talent. And if you're saying to these guys, not only are we the best organization to work for, we're the organization that is interested in helping you become the best you can be.
job scouting and development teams have been reorganized and are drafting and developing the best amateur, professional, and international talent available. In the past two years, the Cubs have acquired, drafted, or signed a significant wave of new, young talent into the organization. Today, team scouts and coaches are equipped with state-of-the-art tools that enhance the club's analytical capabilities, increasing the ability to evaluate talent. It's important for the Cubs to be leaders both on and off the field. The Cubs and Chicago Cubs charities will contribute a team record $2.3 million of donations to nonprofits and programs across Chicagoland this year. Since the family took over Chicago Cubs and Chicago Cubs charities, we've actually doubled the amount of giving that we do each year. Our vision for Chicago Cubs charities is really to have an impact in the city of Chicago and beyond and really make a difference in the lives not only of our fans but in the, of the entire city. And so it's very important not only to the organization but to the Ricketts family that we be a good corporate neighbor and that we give back. The Ricketts continue to make improvements to Wrigley Field each year for the players, the fans, and for the community. Larger scale investments are planned to enhance and preserve the ballpark for generations to come and enjoy. Real, visible progress has been made under the new owners. The mission is clear, and the destination promising. Winning a championship is our number one goal. It always has been, it always will be. The meaning of that to our fan base would be unbelievable. And for us to be even a small part in contributing to that moment is magical. It's just something that, that we think about all the time. And when I think about it, I think about all these fans for all these years giving all this love to this one team. They deserve it.
previews of what we'd like to do with, with Wrigley. So, thirdly, uh, our goal has always been to be a better neighbor, to be a better member of our community, to do more for, uh, for our city. And, um, you know, first of all, this event right here, thank you for being here. This is a fundraiser for Cup of Charity, so thank you for being here.